Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inizor Education. Um, <clears throat> today we will continue talking about units of measurement in uh, physics and obviously the most important system of units is called C, uh, Sistema Internazionale, something like this. Um, in the previous lecture we have explained how a unit of time, a second, can be defined using certain fundamental constants which basically occur in nature and seemingly um, constant, not changing with time. That was um, resonant um, oscillations of atom of cesium uh, cesium 133, cesium or cesium. Now, that was the time. Now, today we will talk about measurement of the length and the unit and how it was derived. Now, this lecture is part of the course called Physics for Teens. It, it's presented on a uh, website unisor.com. Website is totally free, there are no advertisement. Everything is basically uh, completely at your disposal. You can use it as much as you can, as, as you want. Um, there is a prerequisite uh, course on the same website called Math for Teens. Math is absolutely necessary for studying physics, especially calculus. So, <coughs> um, what else? Yeah, there are. Uh, notes for each lecture on this website. So if you watch this lecture from let's say YouTube you don't have this benefit but if you do it from the website you will have basically the textual part like a textbook which is at the same well at the same time you can basically read it uh, and for the same topic whatever is in the lecture there is the same thing in in the text. Maybe slightly different differently, maybe with some more details. Uh, plus, the website contains many tasks, problems, um, exams, which you can take as many times as you want to get the perfect score. And there are other functionalities of the website. We are not talking about this right now. So, back to unit of lengths. Lengths. Now, this lecture and all other lectures dedicated to units will be very short so um, you don't need a lot of patience <laughs> just 10-15 minutes concentration so how did people measure lengths well the most important unit of measurement of lengths in the world which is part of the uh, system of units called C is meter Well, in the United States, we are using less the meter and more something like a foot or a mile. Uh, everywhere else in the world, meter is really de facto standard. So I'll talk about how um, meter actually came to be and what is exactly the definition of the meter. Well, one of the first definitions was something like... Um, one ten million ten millions part of a distance between the North Pole and the equator. Well, it was a decent definition, but obviously it's not really precise as we understand. Now then, um, somewhere in 19th century, they have decided to make a meter. So they made a rod made of um, the alloy of platinum and uh, iridium, which they were thinking is uh, having the length exactly one meter. Um, it was uh, made of this uh, alloy and uh, it has a very peculiar uh, section, something like this. That's the section of this alloy, and it's about a me and it's exactly a meter, 
as they understood the meter at the time in 19th century. They put it in <coughs> in some laboratory in France. I think the city is called Sever, it's near the Paris. And uh, so there was some kind of a organization which was supposed to take care of basically this thing, to store it in constant condition, temperature, uh, humidity, and whatever else. Well, about a hundred years later, people realized that, well, no matter how precise we have made this particular meter made of platinum and iridium, it's still changing with time, and uh, it's not good for definition of what actually meter is, considering the precision which we are, which we really have to make right now. Okay, so they have decided, and that's a general direction of all the definitions of all the units in C, they decided to hook it with some kind of a uh, natural physical constant, um, and uh, the choice was the speed of light in vacuum. Now, we have already defined a second as a unit of time. So now we can define, if the speed is defined, the speed is basically distance per unit of time, and the time is already defined one second as um, in the previous lecture we really talk about. It's certain number of oscillations um, uh, of uh, atom of cesium-133. Well, actually I have this number here something like 9,192,631,770 oscillations. So, considering the oscillations is something like a um, natural constant under spe its specific oscillations of atom when it goes from one state to another. So, that was considered to be a constant to, well, to a precision which probably we um, cannot exceed, at least right now. So the second was defined. Now the speed of light was measured many times, and approximately it was 299,792,458 meters per second at the time. Well, obviously, again, it was not exactly this, because meter was, you know, not exactly um, uh, a precise um, kind of measurement at the time. But that was one of the latest. So, what physicists decided to define meter as such a distance, which, if used to measure the speed of light, this number will be exact. So in one second, light would cover exactly this number of meters. And that's basically a definition of meter, which means the meter is the distance which uh, light covers in this many seconds, 5-8. So, one over this number, piece of a second, fraction of a second, is the distance which is equal to one meter, by definition. So, the speed of light is this, exactly. So, that actually made a meter to be, well, basically based on some physical, natural constant, which we think is constant speed of vacuum, speed of uh, light in, in the vacuum. So now it becomes kind of objective. You see, before the definition of the meter was this particular rod, metal rod, which, which they have made. That's our making. It's subjective definition of meter. We, the people, decided how it is. And again, it was not really precise because it's changing with the time, no matter how well you preserve it. 
Now, this definition is not changing with the time, hopefully, <laughs> at least as far as we understand. Tomorrow or a year after, the speed of light will be exactly the same as today. So that's why connecting the lengths with some objective, natural, physical constant is definitely preferable way. Exactly the same as we defined it, defined, defined uh, the, the second in the previous lecture. Again, it's not something which we have built like a clock, or we have observed that the moon is 28 days or something like this. No, this is all changing things. But something which is not changing according to our understanding of nature right now. The oscillations of atom of cesium when it goes from one particular state to another. That seems to be objective and it seems to be constant. Same thing with the speed of light. So, again, the whole tendency of changing the units of measurement, and that was actually quite recently. I mean, things changed in 2018, 2016, I mean, it's quite within the last 10 years, even less. So, these definitions are moving towards um, more objective, more um, physical constant related values, which supposedly not change not changing with time okay so we have defined the meter now obviously we have uh, kind of derived units from meter fractions like decimeter which is one tenth centimeter with one hundredth of a meter a millimeter which is one thousandth of a meter uh, then what we have after a millimeter we have micrometer uh, which is um, one millionth, and then nanometer one billionth, and picometer is ten to the minus twelve. So one over ten to the twelfth degree of a meter. As well as the multiple units, decameter, hectometer, and kilometer. So decameter is ten meters, hectometer is hundred meters and uh, kilometer is thousand meters although personally I never used deca and, and, and hecto um, so kilometer is more kind of accepted um, measurements now in the United States of America meters are used uh, mostly for technical and physical kind of research and uh, um, other things but at the same time quite popular are um, uh, feet and uh, and miles and inches as fractions of uh, of the foot. Um, now it's still kind of you know tradition, and uh, Americans try to preserve this particular tradition. Although most other countries actually switch to metric system with meters, not always, by the way. Uh, for instance, in in Great Britain, you will probably have both metric system in some places and old English system in some other places. Although the tendency is towards metric system, it seems simpler and uh, and generally acceptable. So, well, that's it for um, for measuring the lengths. It's a short lecture, as I was um, telling before. And I will have a few more lectures for different um, me me measurements of different physical quantities. So thanks very much and goodbye.